We have the amazing Ezia Habolaji Olojo. She has been here with us for the past month and we've been having quite some interesting discussions, right? Wow, we yes, have. quite interesting and insightful and educative ones. And today we're talking uh, junk free party park. Yes. Right? Because there's a trend now. Yeah, I, I yeah, in fact, I noticed the trend also when moms go to parties and there's always a takeaway or something to go back and all of that. You know, it makes it more convenient for people organizing parties and all of that. But you have mentioned, or we know that quite a number of these things inside is junk. But before we get into that, how it can make healthy ones, it, by your own, in your own terms, what do you label junk food? Oh, fantastic. Hi, Mike. Good to see you. Good to have you also here. <laughs> okay. So junk food is basically anything that is unhealthy. And a lot of us know what is unhealthy. No, you so, might be surprised how many don't know. I agree. Okay. Uh -huh. I agree. So uh, what is unhealthy? What is junk? <laughs> okay. In so case? One, one rule of thumb is when things don't look like they look, they're supposed to look when they came out of the farm. So that farm to table... Ideally, we should be eating farm to table. So mm. there should be a high level of semblance between how the food was when it came out of the farm and then when you're eating it. Mm. So when things don't look like that anymore, something has happened. There's something a lot happened. of processing that has that happened. Has gone Real food looks almost the same. Real food, too, does not, is not made to last so long without refrigerating. So if you have something that we can just keep and it doesn't go bad, even if you don't refrigerate, yes, there's a that is tendency. where there's a problem. Yes, that there's is a junk tendency. food. Uh, let's start doing some classification. If you buy rice, you like beans, uh, well, all those other things, there's no junk food. That's, that's, no, real, that's food. real food. Well, and it you, looks like it looked when you brought it when out you brought of the it farm. Out. Okay, yes. but when you buy things like maybe um, chin chin, things that can stay on their own for so long, uh, what can we put things like chin chin or, I don't know, maybe some of this uh, potato? You know, there are these different slices that they keep that we do, you know, stuff that is packaged okay. and we take as food. Is that, can we classify that as junk? So let's look at the potatoes. If you don't put the potatoes in the freezer, they're not going to last. So you already know mm. that it's not, it's, not, um, it's not as healthy at all. So when you talk of chin chin, which is almost a staple in Nigeria, Nigeria. <laughs> we already know that it doesn't look like anything that grew in a farm. Mm. That's a rule of thumb already to know that, yeah. hey, that's yeah, it. And that's I'm not it. saying don't consume it at all. Okay. We're just saying keep it to the minimum. Those mm. are confectionaries. Keep them wonderful, to wonderful, the minimum. Wonderful. All right. So uh, in these packs, what, 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 in the packs that we see now, what are the things that we see in these packs for kids now? What are, those, what are the regular things we see in these packs? Okay. So before we even say what's there, let's yeah. go a bit historical. Okay. How the party packs and party favors, as they were initially called, come about? Mm. It started, um, well, a lot of history says that it started in England, mm -hmm. where you'd go for a party and because they wanted to be kind to you and just make you remember long after the party was over, they would give you party favors to go home with. Mm. It didn't necessarily have to be edible. Just something that, because if it's edible, I'll eat it and I'll forget about forget it. Forget about or it. Or something that you can remember. A souvenir. Yes, yeah. party favors. So now... With children, we realize that there's a lot of marketing and promoting and advertising of foods that are not healthy. So party packs are no longer exactly memorable. Mm. They're just full of things that, yes, the children eat it. They're probably excited for a short time. But the body doesn't forget the impact of what that food has done for them. And they forget about it. The children actually forget about it because you eat the junk food and then nothing happens afterwards. So the goal now is... Make party packs exciting, make party packs memorable. Mm. It doesn't have to always contain, because now party packs contain a lot of junk food and it doesn't have to be so. I, I shared a video, I don't know if it's going to go up, mm. of what party packs look like. So for me personally, I have two boys and then we receive party packs, as you can imagine, from schools especially. And mm. then I just decide to keep them. I keep them, I keep them. And now we have like a whole bag of junk food that's just there. Wow. That's just there. They don't, you, like, you ensure that they don't eat it, right? Even if they're going to eat it, they can't... Imagine if they got two party packs every week. They can't, and Is it's it regular? 
Yes, and it's full of junk food. Wow. The body keeps the score. The body keeps the score. So we can no longer, because childhood obesity, overweight is actually an epidemic. So we can no longer continue to give them those. A lot of parents will tell you that, oh, they'll, they'll grow out of the fat. It's just childhood fat or something. No, no, it's not. If we're saying that, then we're not educating ourselves enough. Because everything that we do now lays the foundation for the future of the child. Everything okay. we feed our children with, either giving them life or feeding them death, and we mm. really have to be careful. So, if we take away junk mm. from party packs, the children can still have fantastic experiences. Like, so, mm, okay, no, this, sure is, what this is okay, but mm. yeah, these are packs that are with fruits these and all of that. These are not even party packs. These look like things that you give at parties. Mm. If I okay, but look at this one now. You can see quite a lot of junk. You can see that kid eating the ice creams and the, the chocolates and all of that. Yes. That's, um, do, do, do you have that kind of stuff in, in party packs now? Yes, you have, you have, oh, of course, you have all of that. And I'm saying that even if you took them out, so let's think in terms of, let's start to be really creative when it comes to party packs. Mm. If you took away anything edible, you would not take away from the experience of that child. So think in terms of something educational and fun, mm. whatever thing it is. And it doesn't have to be so expensive because this day there's almost the debate of, oh, party packs are now so expensive. And then some parents are trying to outdo one another by giving all the flashy, you know, like really big expensive things. I'm not saying it could be right, it could be wrong. People should keep things within their beautiful budgets. Okay. But what I'm saying is that look for something educational for that child. Look for something that can mentally stimulate them. Stuff like puzzles, coloring books that are age appropriate, of course. Okay. Something they can play with. Something that they so can write on. should not just be on. edibles. It doesn't have to. I'm saying that if you're going to even give edibles, we can keep it really simple. You see those biscuits that have cream in the middle? They're not doing our children any good. Mm. So just the simple crackers. And I'm telling you that if you took that away from a party pack, it wouldn't change the experience for a child. For a child. It wouldn't. So let's, let's, let's unleash the creativity that we have as parents okay. and start to make it really exciting. The goal is actually for the child to remember the person that's celebrating. Mm. That's the goal. That's, that's why we goal. give party favors. So if you have all the junk, they eat it then and they forget, but the body keeps the score. However, if we have all of these educational, mentally stimulating, fun toys, they remember the child that's celebrating for a longer time. Wonderful, wonderful. So even if it's going to be edible as much as possible, just give us a few, let's round up with that. Simple. Things like what? So crackers, okay, crackers, crackers is really good. Dried fruits, if you can afford dried fruits, dried fruits yeah. super amazing. So things like maybe dates. Dates, and they also have dried fruits like dried pineapples, dried okay. apples. Yes, we have them, them packaged now. Some of them are, are pricey. Are they not processed already? No, no, no. They're processed, but in the healthiest of ways. All they did was remove the water the liquid, content. Yes. So that they can last so a bit dry. longer. Yes, and it can last longer. And it's so sweet, it's so fun, and it's so healthy. Mm. All right. Thank you very much. That's quite educational. I, I, I hope that people can pick up these things. And when, when, when these kids pick up these habits when they're much younger, then it's, going, it's, it's, it's going to be easy to sustain it as they grow older. It's easy, and the body keeps the score. The body keeps always the score. That. Always remember that, always remember Thank you so much. It's always a pleasure having you talk about Thank this. you, Mike. All right. I loved it. Okay, all right, we'll take a time and I'll stay with us. We'll be back with a final discussion in a bit. <laughs>